Boys and girls, I'm not with it today. But that's how it goes sometimes. A lot of it, you know, we don't really have a choice. You get up and you go to work and you provide. The important thing that I've learned is that even on your bad days, you gotta find the little things along the way that make the journey worth it. That's where I'm at now. Last night, I was supposed to stay in a hotel, which is right up the hill over here. I'm in Mount Airy, North Carolina at this kind of crappy Flying J. And uh, pissing rain, I got up there and they didn't have any rooms available. My APU isn't working, if you don't know what that is, it's the... Uh, I call it an automated power unit. I'm not entirely sure what it really means. But it's this tiny little baby diesel engine that I have that's mounted to the frame that runs an alternator and an AC compressor and it provides power to your battery so you can run your inverter and your AC at night. And heat, you know, when it's winter. But it was, I think when I tried to go to bed yesterday, it was like, 87 and raining and somehow magically it decided to work I'm not complaining because I was going to have to sleep in this motor with it being so goddamn hot I was probably going to die and then you wouldn't be talking to me right now it's just it decided to work long enough for me to get to sleep and then once I got to sleep I woke up hot as f sweating and got that wonderful little warning triangle and the engine light saying that it wasn't running properly so oh well is what it is now I am gonna start making my way to Minnesota we should be able to get up to like Porter Indiana today is where I'm gonna try and go we have a I have a terminal there and uh, I'm gonna try and stay in the hotel there. Hopefully it's cooler. We'll see. See you guys later.
I got here are some cable reels. These guys are about 3,500 pounds a piece. I have 14 of them. They're a pain in my fucking ass. They're chained down, as you can see. They're kind of done in two sections. Now, originally they weren't. Originally they were, you know, from beginning to the end of the trailer. And I ended up being quite considerably overweight on my drive tires. So we took this spool right here, picked it up, and tossed it back here on the very back. And these are a pain in the ass to tarp because they're not square. And my tarps look like because I did them in the rain. And it's what it is. I actually found out that, that the company that ordered this shit wanted it to be tarp after I had already left the shipper so I had to do it at a truck stop which is what it is um, for those of you that don't know these spread axles here a spread is allotted more weight than a tandem like this guy's got so that can do 34,000 pounds legally and these can take 40 legally uh, each one of these axles says that they're rated for 20,000 pounds I'm sure they can handle a lot more than that if you tried but I don't want to try that it's not worth the ticket this trailer in particular you see these guys right here so I can move this axle you see where the locking pins are on the same kind of mounts now if we can get the back ones back there uh, other by the edge of the mud flap right there. I can't get it to focus right, but I'm sure you'll be able to see it. Either way, yeah, these unlock and then you can slide this forward to meet that one and have a tandem. So it makes it a little bit easier because this is a 53 foot trailer. And 53 foot and a spread. Uh, I mean, it was fun trying to get it in this spot. But that's, that's the way she goes sometimes, I reckon. That back looks like trash, but honestly, I kind of don't care. But yeah, that's what we're working with right now. And uh, depending on when I put this video out, it might be the first one that I do. Uh, we all won't have been introduced to Patricia, Patricia the problem child. My Peterbilt 579. And boy, is it a hunk of this truck sucks so bad I'll tell you in a future video but yes oh, Patricia the problem child but yeah that's what we got going on <laughs>